Hello, so today we've got another synthesizer, synthesizer video. So you may remember a couple of months ago that the Cosmo Format 1222 VCO Volt Controlled Oscillator uh, is available on Eurorack thanks to FunkMod, Christina FunkMod. Thank you very much for this amazing port because, you know, it looks the same but smaller. There's a video link below if you're not aware, running through all the technical spiel and stuff. I even took a bunch of these over to Barcelona to play with Cuckoo and Heimbach as unplugged. Thanks for Patreon to put that together because we got the jam together and it was good. And I gave him a real road test and it proved that they're actually pretty solid. Well, whenever I've spoke about them, people have asked if there's ever going to be kits or whatnot. Well, Christina Funk Mod has delivered and made it available over on Funk, so you can put it together. Save a little bit on costs by doing a bit of Splodgy, splodgy, wing, wang, wang, digga, 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 I've already stupidly put this together before I recorded the intro, but pretty much all of the surface mount, because uh, in the Eurorack form there's a lot of surface mount, pretty much all of it's been done. There's only one little chip that you've got to put in, that is the 3340, that is the VCO chip, and, you know, if you haven't done surface mount before, I thoroughly recommend you going on eBay and getting a little training kit, I think it's only a few quid, and you get this little board and some random chips, and you just practice, you watch some YouTube videos and give it a go. It's not super hard, and if you've got some flux, uh, thanks to a friend called Chris, he was despairing because of the fact that I, I never used flux well it's just come at the right time he bought this and i've been able to use it and it makes it a lot easier for surface mount that's for sure if you're already a surface mount aficionado this is going to be a walk in the park and the rest of it's about soldering the hardware on the front the rest of the components are already on the circuit board there are detailed instructions and other videos on how to put these together i recommend you probably follow those instead of the video that's about to come because i made it up as i went and when i looked back and did looked at how they did it i was like oh yeah why didn't i make it like that so don't follow this this is just a mere example of what could be done. Anyway, without further ado, let's put one together. Okay, so let's have a look at everything that we get with the kit. We get a bag of components, a circuit board and a panel. This is all laid out, it looks lovely. We may as well turn this into song. So let's take a look at everything that we get. Stick the stickers from the kit on the wall and get started on the surface mount. Oh baby, I'm sure, just check in the comments, there is going to be somebody saying, oh you don't do it like that. You're supposed to service mount like this. Anyway, we carry on all by bits, soldering all the big bits on. This is the way I did it. Maybe check the instructions. It might make more sense. These are the headers, so you can put the backpack circuit board on. Now, lay everything out like this. The circuit, the encoder, the switch, I mean, and the uh, potentiometers. But don't solder them down. Bolt them onto the panel at the start, and then make sure it's all lined up, and then solder them on down. Just like that, oh baby. Then get the Arduino and solder on down Oh yeah, yeah Just get soldering, just solder, just solder Don't be shy Now put everything onto the panel on the circuit board again Bolt it in, but don't solder it down until you've bolted it down And make sure it all lines up perfectly And when you put all the bolts on That's when you get out the solder the solder and then at my the machine it was quite easy and quick wasn't it it's beautiful yeah oh hello so now it's built you've got to code the arduino we're not going to cover that today because it's a computer all you need to do is download the arduino software and the code that's available on the link below and you pop it onto the arduino nano you plop it in the back and that is just for the tuner actually skip that i haven't done my homework and yeah the code is already on the arduino so you don't even have to code the arduino and then we get on to the next stage which is calibrating it which isn't as hard as you may think. So now we're on to the dreaded calibration procedure. All you need is any old crappy multimeter. It doesn't need to be the best thing. It could be just a cheap five quid one. In fact, there are some ways, if you're a bit thrifty about it, to do this calibration without even using a multimeter. Either A, you can use your tongue. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't think your tongue will be able to decipher between 3.9 volts and four volts. But maybe, maybe you've got a magic tongue. <laughs> that sounds pretty wrong. Either A, use a multimeter or B, if you're thrifty you could probably get away with just using a beat step pro or something and just fiddling around twiddling some knobs first off wire the ground into a ground on something i'm going to wire it into the ground on the power supply yeah baby next we need to put this over onto the ref so there's a tiny little bit that says four volts up here poke that on there and then it should be reading four volts which this one does not it reads 1.12 so we need to get a screwdriver and adjust this reference trim pot at the top until 
we get until we get four volts. Let's let's keep on going. We're getting real close. It doesn't need to be super close. That'll be close enough. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now that we've got the reference pretty much at four volts, well, what if I told you we don't need to listen to the oscillator to actually get it into tune? That's because we've got the tuner on here to do that for us. So we've got three more trim pots. We want to look at the middle one that says track TRK. So let's go with here. So we got E, yeah? And if we flick this octave up, we should hopefully see another E here. No, we don't, we see D. So we're gonna twist the track up and try and make it close to E. So we've got E, and then we're gonna flick down. It's not right on it, but we, you'll see what I mean in a sec. That's become F now. So I'm gonna bring it up a bit more and then flick this up, hoping it's to be on F. And then we keep on fiddling around, bringing it up until we start matching the notes. A bit more up, I think. Bring it up to about there. Adjust this if you want to get it bang on green. No, no, it's going down again. So we're going to keep on going up, I think. Uh, I think I've got this the right way around. Uh, we're on G now. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. As long as they're all on green. Oh, it's going down a bit now. So I think if I match it a little bit, bring it up. There we go. We're in tune. We're all on green. Now, if you notice that it starts waving a little bit at the top on the highest notes you struggle to get the octaves in, adjust the HF trim pot. Bring it up a little bit. This kind of adjusts the top of the curve of the tuning. But that's pretty banging. We bang on. And then what we do now is we adjust this middle one, pointing upwards to zero. And this can be the central note. We're going to make the central note, I don't know, actually. I'm going to make it C. You might want to do this when you've got something plugged into it because C is usually zero volts on uh, Beatstep Pros and things like that, I think. So now if you flick this all the way up, it will go to G. And if you flick this all the way down, it goes to G. Boom. This is, that was, that was really quick. That was really quick and easy. Wow. We didn't even have to listen to it and it is already calibrated. Right now I'm going to be playing these with their bigger brothers, the uh, Cosmo Format one, and we're going to play some nice tunes because that's what these are good for because they've got, they got tuners. Yeah. 
We finish this circuit Oh yeah, baby, gonna fly.